Warren looks awful shaky out there. You had a chance to bowl uh, 18 games in the tournament. Uh, what can you tell us about the championship pair? I can tell you one thing. Uh, Brian Voss, he's playing the same way everybody's been playing all week. He's playing the inside shot. And I've noticed that uh, Chris Warren is going outside. And uh, earlier this week, if he played outside the second arrow, that ball would just take off toward the gutter. And you notice the last shot, he yeah. just missed put it on the gutter. And he came back and pulled it a little bit. So uh, that's a touchy shot out there. We'll see, see how accurate he can be. Good point, John. And uh, obviously the PBA lane personnel do the lanes every week. It's not a house condition. And uh, I'll talk a little bit more to John Burkett about the difference between the experience he had in the amateur and leagues compared to his uh, experience here in a pro term. Oh, a big powerful strike. Can we ask uh, Brian to describe a special service that he has for bowlers all around the country? Well, I decided to start a unique service in conjunction with the PBA. It's a 900 number, 900-454 Voss, and I started it to give some of the fans across the country a chance to chart not only my progress, but the other players' progress throughout the week. It's updated on a daily basis. There's also a tip of the week and uh, various upcoming events. The proceeds will also benefit the Haven, which is a charity function in Boca Raton, Florida. Very caring person, Brian Voss, and here on the left lane, he has left the 3610. A quick observation, John Burkett, uh, you see players playing different lines, very difficult. Draw a quick comparison for me between the amateur bowling you've done and the scoring ability at amateur lanes compared to the pro tour. Uh, well, bowling in leagues, I noticed that uh, the lanes have a lot more oil on the inside, and uh, you can afford to throw the ball outside your target and it comes back. And if you throw it inside your target, it's good. Well, here, if you throw it outside, it's gone. It doesn't come back. All right, we'll be here more from John Burkett. We'll be going to our colleague Jack Aroot in Tampa, site of the Super Bowl. He'll give us uh, the announcement of the inductees into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. That'll be coming up in a little while. Hurry. All right, nice Brooklyn strike. Let's go down to Bob. Thank you, Chris Shakel, and the man is born the next match. Bob Benoit, both players struggling. One's playing the inside line, one's playing the outside line. What's going to be your game plan? Well, I think I'm going to move in and try to play the track and, and not try to hook the ball as much and uh, just try to keep it around the pocket and uh, hopefully I'll come out ahead. Good match game strategy when the lanes look tough. Play in, make your spares, and hopefully some strikes will come. Chris, back to you. Now here's a shot to take the lead. Chris Warren, left lane. Lost it in the channel. They hang out there very precariously, don't they, John? I knew, I knew playing out there by that gutter. If you get the ball outside a little bit, and you miss just a little bit to the right, and it just keeps going, just like that ball did right there. And if you pull a little bit, then it takes off Brooklyn. So you got to be really accurate with that shot. Mm -hmm. And I think following up, John, what you said, between the amateur conditions in the country, the oil is pretty equally uh, dispersed across the whole 42 inches of the lane surface. When you miss right, it keeps sailing. And if you pull it, you pay a penalty where in league play, obviously, you can shoot a little bit higher scores. Chris Warren running into all kinds of uh, problems. Golly, last week a shot of 161, and and uh, this unbelievably. He's looking for a relief pitcher, Chris. He's I he's think. trying to be a starter. He needs a reliever. Two wild pitches there, John. <laughs> Now Voss with a 23-pin lead, eighth frame. <laughs> Capacity crowd here at the ARC Panol Lanes. Third year that we've been coming here. First year we had a power failure, and we were off the air for about 15 minutes. Ernie Schlegel went on to win. And then last year, Brian Voss's opponent, Chris Warren, from the top seed, won his first of his three titles. Big shot for Voss. He can slam the door on Warren here in the ninth frame with a strike. Yeah. Get it. Bob Benoit will be meeting the winner. You're looking at Chris Warren. His roommate, Mark Thayer, is the tournament leader. Chris Warren in a must-strike situation. Ninth and tenth frames. Wow. 
Warren looking to the scoreboard on the side. He's in an absolute must situation. He has a potential 188 if he strikes in the 10th, 11th, and 12th frames. That would force Brian Voss to get at least nine on the first ball or anything less in a spare. So without a strike here, Warren cannot win. Off to the right, you'll hear the pin fall of Bob Benoit's practice yeah, shot. Shot 170 this week. Maybe 180 if we get lucky here. <sighs> Chris often talks to himself, but then again, don't we all? <laughs> Has to have this strike. Cannot win the match without a strike here in the 11th. Four strikes. Mark. In seven frames, now he's strong three. Make him mark. Well, Chris Warren was picked in a trio of best clutch players of 1990 on the Pro Bushnell Bowlers Tour with Robert Lawrence and Jim Pinsek. And he has proven it here in the 10th frame as he's thrown some clutch strikes to give himself a chance against Brian Boss. Closing with a four-bagger and shooting 188. For Brian Voss, any kind of a mark is a winner. Nine on the first ball is a winner. Anything less than nine on the first ball, he can still lose the match. Yeah. Oh, Brian Voss moves ahead. Okay, from Boca Raton, Brian Voss. He'll be going against another...